All right, so if you've seen our gear dump for our warm weather clothing and our cold weather clothing, now this is a gear dump for what gear do we wear at LOH Outfitters as guides that are out there all year long. Uh, very important piece is a bino harness. This is the uh, Kuyu Pro bino harness. There's a lot of good ones out there. Uh, they have the ability to attach a hydration bladder to the back of it. Um, or you can put this in a backpack. A hydration bladder is a good piece so you're not carrying around four or five bottles of water. But ultimately it's uh, totally up to you. One of the most important pieces as an archery hunter is having a rangefinder set up that is quick, easy, convenient with a minimal amount of movement. So Kuyu has this set up where they have a lanyard that goes down into a rangefinder pocket. You hook that here, you come down, you grab your rangefinder, you've got that bull at 40 yards, you can't move a lot, so you bring it up, you range, and then you can just drop the rangefinder and you've and you've got your bow and bam. You don't want to be digging around in a pocket, have it in your backpack, moving around like this trying to get a rangefinder. It's got to be quick, simple, and easy. And having it as close to your pectoral muscle as possible is by far the best scenario for carrying a rangefinder when you're trying to archery hunt out. So bino harness must have I like a glassing pad. This is a Kuyu glassing pad. It just helps you sitting on sharp rocks or damp ground. Uh, protects your butt from getting wet or lets you sit a little longer, more comfortable. Uh, this is a uh, string sling. I'm not a fan of like the, the Primos ones that go over your cams. Uh, they're great for transport, but not the best when it comes to walking around in the woods while you're hunting because I've often had people set up for a quick shot and an unexpected elk and their whole bow is encased cams and everything and a big sock you don't want that so this is again the string sling and you can wear it just like this and hang your bow right by the string right here You've got your other hand on the handle, and within a matter of one second, you can pick up, and you're good to go. Or if you need hands-free to do some glassing, then you can rest it right here. Um, when it comes to glassing, my personal favorite is the Zeiss Victory RF 10x42s. They've got the built-in rangefinder. They are some of the best glass on the market. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Zeiss. Here's a Carlton's Culls, Elk Call, a bull getter. It's pretty simple to blow. It's a great piece to be able to stop an elk. Um, smoke in a bottle is my favorite wind check. You just give it a little puff. And it's always accurate, showing you which way the wind's going. Uh, merino wool gloves, real lightweight, lightweight merino wool beanie. I always like to carry some electrical tape in my pack. It works good for everything. Uh, tourniquet, band-aid, uh, strap an elk onto a pack, hang an elk from a tree, whatever. Electrical tape has got a lot of different purposes. Also good to have some parachute cord, uh, you just never know. A decent belt, always want to have a belt. If you're gun hunting, a spare pouch to keep some bullets handy. A lot of times people get excited and you don't want to be digging around in your backpack for, for spare bullets. You want to have all that stuff handy and ready. 
Um, this is our backpack for real lightweight archery hunts when it's super hot out. Um, good fanny pack. So it keeps your back open to the air and breathable so you're not getting a sweaty back when you're out hiking and it's hot weather. Uh, again, this is uh, a Badlands Monster Fanny Pack. This is what I like on archery hunts. Uh, you talk about going for a full day or going to the gun hunts, and then you might look at the Kuyu Venture 2300. Uh, if you had to, you could put some elk meat in this. Uh, it's got a carbon fiber internal frame, but it's still real lightweight, comfortable, and the Kuyu Venture 2300 is a very good day pack. So, that covers our bino case, a good range finder carrier, bow sling, your backpacks, and some good quality waterproof boots. Kenetrek makes great boots, non-insulated, 400, 600, or 1,000. They also make the hard scrabble hikers that are lower. I personally like the sport of a taller boot. Um, any of this gear, guys, uh, Kuyu, Send Crusher, a lot of this. If you have questions or you want to purchase through me, just give me a call. I'm happy to help you out. Um, always got to have a good flashlight, a lighter, headlamp. Um, I like to bring a laundry bag so I can sort out my dirty, stinky clothes from clothes that I'm still able to wear. Another thing I like is a sheet liner. And all this is, is I buy a sheet from a store and I sew it up just like the zipper on a sleeping bag. So when I crawl in my sleeping bag at night, I put this sheet liner in and it's just like you're sleeping at home in regular sheets. After a few days of sleeping in this, if it gets stinky, you take it to the laundromat and wash it, you don't have to wash your sleeping bag. I don't personally like the texture or the feel of, of being in a sleeping bag without a sheet, but another good function is if it's hot out or you're hot and a sleeping bag is too much, you flip that off and you're still covered up with a sheet. So on our list, the sheet liner, that's what it is. It's a sheet and it's sewed just like the zipper on a sleeping bag so you can crawl in it like a sleeping bag. Um, I think that covers it. All right, now I'm just gonna go into, this is a list in your welcome letter when you come on a hunt with us, you can find it on our website. Uh, what to bring, a medicine bag, Tylenol, aspirin, ibuprofen, Benadryl, cold sinus cough, whatever kind of medication you need, uh, moleskin in case you get a blister on your foot, moleskin is always real good for that, tweezers, nail clippers, q-tips, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, shaver, uh, chapstick, That's a lot of people go through chapstick in New Mexico with the sun beating down on you, scent free soap, shampoo, deodorant, sunscreen, sunscreen is good to have, eye drops because it can be dry and dusty. What I carry in my elk pack guy, in my day pack guys, is my elk permit and hunting license, my ID, personal identification, electrical tape, a couple zip ties, parachute cord, a sharp knife, a leatherman, a pen or a marker, a lighter, a, a couple paper towels in a, a Ziploc bag, some moist wipes, one trash bag, non-scented, you can put stuff in it to keep it dry, you can throw it on as a poncho in a pinch, it doesn't weigh anything, um, a couple Ziplocs, Plenty of water. You need to drink plenty of water in New Mexico. Do not get dehydrated. People get dehydrated all the time out there. Just drink plenty of water, whether you're going to bring a hydration bladder or bottles of water. Uh, bring plenty of food and snacks with you, batteries, compass, flashlight, headlamp, seat cushion, rain gear, socks, and a Ziploc in case the socks you're wearing get wet. you got a backup pair. you got to protect your feet. Um, 10 by 42 binos with a rangefinder. 
Um, and then when you're coming out, you know, some personal gear, don't forget your wallet, cash, ID, passport, hunting license, elk tag, whatever species you're hunting, make sure you have that tag lined up. Uh, camera, belt, sunglasses, sheet liner, sleeping bag, pillow, a towel, uh, phone and charger, pair of camp shoes or sneakers, then your hiking boots, hunting boots, uh, a pair of gaiters is good to have, um, merino wool underwear and smart wool socks with moisture wick liners, um, rain gear, pair of jeans, pair of shorts, some casual stuff, a ball cap, face mask, and maybe bring a travel coffee cup with a spill proof lid. Whether you're flying or driving, that's always good to have.